let me show you two simple ways for taking any video file on your iPhone or iPad and sending it to your Mac computer and it works for any Mac. The very first step is wireless and it uses something called AirDrop. So all you have to do is make sure right here on your control center that you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled and then if you press and hold right here make sure AirDrop is also enabled and set to everyone for this video. And same thing on my Mac here, I'm going to make sure I have Bluetooth on, so turn that on and make sure your Wi-Fi is also connected. This technically should work with just Bluetooth, but I always have the Wi-Fi on here on my Mac anyway. Now with all that said, find a video that you want to send to your Mac. So I'm going to go to my photos library here and by default, your photos and videos are going to be here. I'm going to send this one to my Mac. Now to send it over, press this up arrow while this video is here, press the up arrow and then choose airdrop. Okay. I'm going to choose airdrop and it's going to show me all the airdrops that are available next to me. So I could send this to my iPad here too, the same exact way, but I want to send it to my iMac. Again, it works on every single type of Mac this exact same way. I'll show you a second option if your internet is slow and you want to plug in your phone. I'll press this right here and it's going to actually send it to my download folder on my Mac. Let me show you. Now on my Mac, I got an airdrop notification that I just got something from my iPhone. So I could show this in Finder if I want. It's going to be in the downloads folder. And if I go to my downloads folder, which you could find here in a finder window on the left side, this is just the exact same video I had on my phone. And now a copy of it is on my computer. It's still on my phone. I didn't actually move it. I just copied it over to my computer. If this process was slow or if you have any issues, there is one more way. And that requires you to plug in your iPhone or your iPad to your computer. So this is just a charging cable. I'm going to plug it in and the other end of it is plugged into my Mac here. And what I need to do on my Mac is I need to search for an application that comes for free on your Mac and it's called image capture. So search for image capture and then press enter. And then you could just go ahead and unlock your phone. It should recognize your phone as long as it's plugged into your Mac. I'm going to give it a second here to prepare my iPhone library. And it looks like it has. And when you find these MOV files, these are movie files, right? So this is a movie file. This is a movie file. This is an image. So if I want to just send this movie file, which is on my phone right now, it's not on my computer. I could just press download right here and it's going to import it to whatever folder I choose. So I'll just choose desktop here so you could visibly see it. If I press download again, it's going to import it from my phone right here and it's going to put it right into this folder right here. And it's right over here. So I'll press spacebar here to do a quick preview on it. And there we go. Now, if you wanted to do this with everything that's on your phone, you just press download all, or you could just hold shift on your keyboard and select multiple different movie clips like this and just press download that way. Now, if you don't see any videos, it's because videos that show up here are the ones that are locally stored on your phone. So if you use iCloud, for example, you might not see it here. So you'll have to go to iCloud.com, use your Apple ID to log in and then import it there. This is for videos that are already on your phone, but if they're locally on your iPhone or iPad, they will show up over here with this method. And that's all it takes for copying videos from your iPhone onto your Mac. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.